Good evening everyone, Mechanics of Materials, Chapter 2, a Strain. We do have a square plate A, B, C, D, and it just deformed to these dashed purple lines. We want to know what is the change in diagonal B, D. In this problem, the, rect the rectangular plate is deformed into the shape shown by the dashed lines. We want to know what is the strain along the diagonal BD is. So we can solve this problem based of two approaches. The first one is the classical one, which is the definition of a strain in, in mechanics of materials. And the other one is the uh, law of cosines in mass. So let's jump to the solution in solution one based of mechanics of material a strain is delta l change in length over the original one which is the length so if you want to do that for diagonal bd we need to calculate the diagonal bd in the original form then the deformed form and then see how it change over the original so if this is l this is l prime and we want to know what is the change over the original length. So from geometry, we do know that if we do have a triangles and we want to calculate the hypotenuse, that's for our problem. Length of BD is a square root of 300 square plus 400 square, and that's like 500 millimeters. And on the deformed section, LB prime D prime is a square root of, let's see in the vertical direction, we have like 300 millimeters and a climb up of two millimeters, but be careful about B prime as well. B prime is also climbing two millimeters, so you have to subtract that as well. That's why we, we know in a strain, relative deformations are important. We are, we are reviewing this one. And also for the horizontal direction, we have 400 millimeters in terms of X axis, then a movement to B prime from B by three millimeters. And then you need to subtract these two millimeters at D prime as well. So that's the relative movement of B prime in versus D prime. And if you remember in mass definition of a strain, we can say in a strain definition, displacement are not important, but deformations are. And what that means is in a strain definition, uh, relative displacement are important, not the displacement itself. So that's the same like what we calculate in our problem. And the definition of that, you can easily find that in delta xy, if you, your point B moves to B prime, and we call it delta xy over original length, which is dx, we call it epsilon xy, sharing a strain at x direction. Likewise, delta yx over the original length of dy, we call it a epsilon in shear strain at y direction. That's how we, the, that's another a sample of how we do need the relative displacement, not the original one. So if we have the original length like 500 millimeters, the displacement like LB prime D prime, we will calculate the length of that. So if you do so, it just gives you 500.8004 millimeters. And then definitely change in length over the original length is the epsilon or a strain in diagonal condition and that's 0 0.0016 and it's a dimensionless also because that's a length over length. You can also solve this problem based off mass. The law of cosines tells you if you have a triangle with the dimension of A, B, C, the hypotenuse squared is C squared is A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times the cosine of theta in between, whatever the angle is. So let's jump to our case. So in our case, A remains the same, but B moves to B prime and D moves to D prime. We want to calculate B prime, D prime. So in that case, we, all, we do know the original 
angle was something 90 degrees at the original shape that's a rectangle and we just need to subtract these two small angles from 90 so we do know theta is should be a little bit smaller than 90 degrees and how you can calculate that that's theta my 90 degree minus arc tangent of 2 over 302 which is this one 2 millimeters over this rise over run and the other angle is arc tangent of two millimeters again rise over run 403 millimeters and if you do the mass it just gives you a little smaller than a 90 degrees and that's 89.3362 degrees as soon as we do know what our angle is we do know what are the dimension and if you just jump for calculation of of b prime d prime you can easily one can easily say b prime d prime is a b prime squared plus a d prime squared minus 2 a b prime a d prime cosine of theta which is we already calculated it that's 89.33 and one can say a d prime is almost like a d prime is almost 300 plus 2 millimeters because this angle is pretty small we already see that and also this one is also it's 400 almost plus 3 millimeters so we have the dimension 403 squared plus 302 squared minus 2 times those a terms times cosine of 89.33 it just gives you a b prime d prime of 500.79 millimeters almost the same 508 millimeters and then definition of a strain is delta length over length like solution one it just gives you the same numeric value of 0.0016 thank you we'll solve more problem in strain calculation